Hello, my friends. Today is Holy Saturday. The title of our devotion is On the Verge of Jordan, the Promised Land. We're being directed to read all of Joshua 3. And friends, I am going to read it for us. If you don't have time to listen to the whole thing right now, no worries. Just fast forward until we get into our devotion, okay? But if you can listen to the whole thing now, oh, please do. Again, I'm going to be reading all of Joshua 3. And again, the title is On the Verge of the Jordan, the Promised Land. Then Joshua arose early in the morning, and they set out from Shittim. And they came to the Jordan, he and all the people of Israel, and lodged there before they passed over. At the end of three days, the officers went through the camp and commanded the people, As soon as you see the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord your God being carried by the Levitical priest, then you shall set out from your place and follow it. Yet there shall be distance between you and it, about two thousand cubits in length. Do not come near it, in order that you may know the way you shall go, for you have not passed this way before. Then Joshua said to the people, Consecrate yourselves, for tomorrow the Lord will do wonders among you. And Joshua said to the priests, Take up the Ark of the Covenant and pass on before the people. So they took up the Ark of the Covenant and went before the people. The Lord said to Joshua, Today I will begin to exalt you in the sight of all Israel, that they may know that as I was with Moses, so I will be with you. And as for you, command the priests who bear the Ark of the Covenant, when you come to the brink of the waters of the Jordan, you shall stand still in the Jordan. And Joshua said to the people of Israel, Come here and listen to the words of the Lord your God. And Joshua said, Here is how you shall know that the living God is among you, and that he will, without fail, drive out from before you the Canaanites, the Hittites, the Hivites, the Perizzites, the Girgashites, the Amorites, and the Jebusites. Behold, the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord of all the earth is passing over before you into the Jordan. Now, therefore, take twelve men from the tribes of Israel, one from each tribe. And when the soles of the feet of the priests bearing the Ark of the Lord, the Lord of all the earth, shall rest in the waters of the Jordan, The waters of the Jordan shall be cut off from flowing, and the waters coming down from above shall stand in one heap. So when the people set out from their tents to pass over the Jordan with the priests bearing the Ark of the Covenant before the people, and as soon as those bearing the Ark had come as far as the Jordan, and the feet of the priests bearing the Ark were dipped over the brink of the water, for now the Jordan overflows all its banks throughout the time of the harvest. The waters coming down from above stood and rose up in a heap very far away at Adam and the city that is beside the Zarethan and those flowing down toward the Sea of Arabah, the Salt Sea, were completely cut off and the people passed over opposite Jericho. Now the priests bearing the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord stood firmly on dry ground in the midst of the Jordan, and all Israel was passing over on dry ground until all the nation finished passing over the Jordan. We have two complementary verses from Psalm 107. It's Psalm 107, 1 and 2, and they say, Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, for this steadfast love endures forever. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so, whom he has redeemed from trouble. Our devotion goes on to say this, a family trip or family reunion requires much planning. A desirable location must be selected, acceptable dates must be chosen to accommodate family schedules, and good lodging must be reserved. Although Moses planned for more than 40 years to enter the promised land, he did not do so, but Joshua did. The themes of failure and sin and rebellion are plentiful in the history of Israel. They wandered for 40 years before Joshua, by God's grace, brought them across the Jordan River and into the Promised Land. Today, we look forward to entering our Promised Land of Easter. Jesus, 
your greater Joshua, entered the swelling Jordan River, conquering death forever on the cross. You have waited all Lent for Easter, the joyous celebration of Jesus Christ's resurrection from the dead. Come and celebrate. We are ready to meet, eat, and rest in the resurrected Lord Jesus. Oh, friends, please pray this hymn with me. Please fold your hands, close your eyes, and bow your heads. Death's flood has lost its chill since Jesus crossed the river. Lover of souls from ill, my passing soul deliver. Had Christ, who once was slain, not burst his three-day prison, our faith had been in vain. But now has Christ arisen, arisen, arisen. But now has Christ arisen. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Friends, there's one word that has been omitted for the last 47 days. And oh, how I long to share it with you tomorrow. I love you so much. And I'll meet you back here tomorrow. Bye, friends.